Um, so this is a question that asks you to develop um, um, intuition, um, sense of uh, feeling for application of Lenz's law in the context of circuits. So, so, so you have already um, seen Lenz's law with uh, electromagnetic induction uh, in context where you are dealing with actual magnetic fields and, um, and you know, so you apply Lenz's law in a way, you know, where the magnetic field due to induce the uh, or current due to induce the voltage opposes the change of, so you've seen all that. And, um, and I guess uh, what I hope you, you would develop as you work with the circuits is an intuitive feel for, intuitive feel for um, relationship between voltage and current that doesn't necessarily rely on the underlying physical picture. So, so the answer I'm gonna give you here, it, it is based on Lenz's law. In fact, you can get it from Lenz's law. But what I think I should have tried to do here is, um, let me see if I can answer this question without explicitly invoking Lenz's law, just uh, using some common sense about circuits. But I don't remember what I put in the hint. Uh, what did I put in the hint? Yeah, okay, you can look at that. <laughs> I'll just do my own thing. <laughs> so, so this is what I'm looking at. Um, it says, uh, current shown in part A below is decreasing, whereas that shown in part B is increasing. Um, there's a chance that this is randomized. Uh, let me answer this and then I'll see if I can get a new question. So, so this is uh, what I'm trying to work out here. Um, so what I'm trying to work out here is I'm imagining that this whole thing is connected to, to some kind of outside the circuit. And I'm trying to imagine what would be driving this current. So, um, so I have two choices here. I could have a battery that's hooked up this way. And if this were register, then this would be the obvious choice. That's the choice that drives the current this way. But with the inductors, the rules are different because with the inductors, the rule is that the change of voltage is connected to rate of change of current. So if this current is constant current that's not changing at all, then you could actually have this instead of a battery. You could simply have a straight wire. And if all this is superconducting wire, there's no voltage source anywhere, that would be perfectly fine with a constant current. So, so I'm looking at where it says, okay, the current shown in part A below is decreasing. Okay, that's, I think, useful for me to think through. And I guess decreasing current is a bit of an um, opposite of the normal picture I would uh, uh, imagine. So let me imagine it this way. I'm going to think of, um, I'm going to think of the opposite situation where the current might be increasing because with the increasing current, then uh, that's where I can apply common sense more easily. I can say, hmm, if I had this inductor, however it's looped around, and if I wanted to start generating current going this way, then it seems sensible to me that the battery would be connected this way with positive voltage on this side and negative voltage on this side, because you know I would be starting from zero current. And if I'm applying voltage this way, well, current better be increasing in this direction, uh, not the other direction. The other direction seems just nonsensical, um, just even according to common sense. So, so I know what direction the battery would have to be 
if this current war increasing this way. Now, what the, the situation I have real is the exact opposite of that. So the common sense tells me that, well, if I want the opposite of what would have happened with the other condition, then if I really have situation where the current is decreasing, not increasing, then I would reverse the battery polarity. So with this opposite connection, it, it makes sense to me that, um, that I would need to connect the battery this way to, to, um, to cause the current to, to decrease. So, so if this is the, how I would connect the battery to make this change happen, then that tells me that here I have the higher potential and I guess here I can just call it zero. So higher potential on the left hand side should be, uh, should be the, <laughs> at the higher potential. And I, I guess we'll see if uh, this uh, gives me the correct answer. So for, with this question, I'll actually submit it and see if it's graded as correct. And I can go through similar reasoning for part B. Um, I guess one thing I kind of see is that here, I see that the direction of the current is already opposite, but then the change is opposite, you know, to negative, cancel each other out. So if I went through the same reasoning process, I think I'm gonna end up saying that the left hand of the inductor is at the higher potential. So let me put left here and let's see if my common sense reasoning is correct or not. <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah, so um, there's a, a lot of, um, if, you know, so I didn't actually invoke Lenz's law. I just uh, um, thought through what's a reasonable thing to happen. And as long as you are careful in how you do it, um, it the, the common sensical approach actually works. Uh, let me, I think I did randomize this question. I'm just gonna note this and this. So depending on what question you have, these two things might be different. So let me just get a similar question. And yeah, yeah, these are randomized. and. I'm pretty sure if I, uh, let me just do <laughs> um, enough times to get, uh, one of those things might say that it's a constant. Uh, let me just, uh, I just wanna wait, this should be left. Um, I want to make sure that that's uh, just in the, wait, is it not in the choices? Let me just do one more time and then I'll move on. Um, Uh, I guess the it may must not be in the choices that where it's constant. If it does say it's constant, then you should say neither, because if it's constant, then there's no uh, the the again the governing expression for inductor is that the change of voltage across inductor is inductance times the rate of change of current. So if a current is not changing, no voltage is induced across inductor. So. Um, yeah, I guess I don't remember how I randomized everything. Uh, 